Hi everyone, this is Amin, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do a setup in the Rockus AP on my end. Imagine you have one, uh, but for any reason, I mean, you do not know the password, you do not know the current configuration, no matter what, you have to reset it. And then you have to uh, follow some uh, steps. What are those? I'm gonna show you. At first, I have one Rockus switch here, this one uh icx7150 and in this switch these ports are poe as you can see two ports are already occupied this one is flat cable this one is connected to the house wi-fi router so where that one we have access to the internet and this one is connected to the ap so this one is uh, sending power uh, for one thing sending power to the ap for the other thing sending internet to the ap and if you put this one aside, this is my AP, Rockus R750, as you can see it is on and LEDs for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz are on. So it is working, but for any reason, you're supposed to reset it. There's a specific uh, place for that, as you can see, just put something inside and uh, as you put it like in 10 seconds, these LEDs will be off and the power LED will be red. As you can see that like one or two seconds after that, it's okay, you can unplug or take, put the whatever, your pen, whatever, things out of that. So it will be reset. And then you're supposed to do uh, everything. Let's see the steps. Imagine you just reset your AP. Uh, what is the first step? Just pin that. When you reset it by default, the IP address will be 192.168.0.1 however as I didn't reset that and uh, mine is the 2 so it is working you see it's pinging and then you need to open a terminal for that by default the telnet is off and the SSH is on so you just need to SSH to your AP as uh, we are gonna do everything on CLI, I mean the command line. So we do the SSH at the beginning. What is the username, the default username and password after resetting? The username is super, oops, it's got timed out. Let me do that again. The username is super, and the password is sp-admin, sp-admin. This is the default password. We have access to that. Now we can see that when you reset it, by default, the password, the IP address will be 192.168.0.1. And as I connect that to the house Wi-Fi router, and the house Wi-Fi router IP address is 192.168.0.1, what will happen? I will get IP conflict. I do not want that. So for that, you're supposed to turn your Wi-Fi off. Just connect uh, a cable to the switch and uh, do configurations, then uh, turn your Wi-Fi on. How to set IP address on that? Basically, uh, all of the configurations will be done via set command. And if you want to see them, uh, you use get command. Uh, easy for me to type that, a get command. The first one is set IP ADDR, and also you can use a uh, tab. Set IP ADDR, it is telling me set ADDR, which one? WAN, WAN LT, video management, whatever. So this IP address is WAN IP address. Set IP ADDR WAN, and then 192.168.0. Whatever. 10, 255, 255, 255, and 0. By hitting enter, you're going to set these configurations. I'm not going to do that. But this is the way that you can change the IP address. And after that, via this command, you can see that this is the IP address, this is the network, and you can set gateway on that. This is the first step. Just uh, you set the IP address on that, and as you change the IP address, you no longer have access to that. Again, you need to tell that, or I'm sorry, you need to SSH to that to the new IP address and set everything, set the configurations. How many uh, channels do we have? You just need to get 
wlan look get wlan info get wlan list get wlan text get wlan list these are my wlans wireless lans the first one is wlan zero which is up one two three four and as you can see they are off till the number eight from that place from this one onwards uh, they will be on five gigahertz and before that they are in 2.4 gigahertz i have two as you can see there is one and there's another one with 5g it's five gigahertz this is the list of the w of your w lens and uh, what else you have if we come here we can check let's do it we can check a 192 168 0 2 super sp admin we can see everything at the same time here uh, we're not gonna change anything here but uh, we do everything on the terminal but i'm going to show you look in the radio 2.4 these are my channels they are the names of them and also in radio 5 gigahertz these are my channels these are the names we can change them for example this one i changed that to the first wlan how i did it we come here not i'm sorry not this one uh we open up the terminal and what was uh, the command for setting something set set wlan text which wlan i'm gonna do that wlan one look if again we look here wlan one is my wireless number one i'm sorry with wireless number two here wireless number two is wlan one this this is wireless number two this is wlan one I'm gonna change this name. How sets WLAN WLAN text and it is asking me which one. Say WLAN one, and I will call it second two point four. This is the name. I hit on the enter. How to see? if uh it's done it is telling me okay i'm done but just get wlan text and it's asking which wlan for wlan one second 2.4 if i refresh it come here we'll see this name is changed however it is done i mean it's not broadcasting but we changed that name but the ssid is still wireless number two uh, that text is this tab on the app i wanted to show you when you just add a text over there here this tab uh, will be changed let me bring my terminal how to turn a one uh, channel up how we go to the set set a state it is asking me which wlan which wlan Imagine you do not have access to this one and you would like to see. First, you need to get WLAN. Look, we have WLAN get, uh, get WLAN text, I showed you. WLAN list, I showed you. It's the text that you said. It is list of all of them and info. It is telling me WLAN number zero with SSID admin and this BSSID is working on channel three. This is the security that is working on that and WLAN 8 with, BSS, with SSID M in 5G and this BSSID on channel 132 and this is the security it is, which is working. So based on that I know which WLANs are up. I'm gonna do something on this WLAN 2.4G. So set a state WLAN uh, number one and I say up if I come here and just refresh that page I see it is up and probably if I see look we have it we have it here wireless number two it is up 
but the point is that uh, there's no password on that and we do not want to broadcast an SSID without password which has access to the internet everyone can use it let's do rest of the configurations for that so far we know how to change these uh, tabs we know how to uh, turn one channel or I mean uh, one frequency or one band up how to have different even SSIDs for each one I mean for each channel we can have different SSIDs and there is a kind of management you can uh, assign different SSIDs different username and passwords to each channel imagine you have an enterprise and many customers in this way you can have uh, I mean you can have, can take advantage of uh, having like a crowded channel for I don't know for uh, walking people I mean bring your own device BYODs or you can have empty or not crowded channel for example for member of the board so let's recap set IP ADDR to set an IP address set a state to turn one WLAN on set WLAN text to set a text on that and also we can use get for everyone and so get channel it is asking me get channels it's asking me which which channel look get channel WLAN 0 it is on channel 3 WLAN 1 it is also the same one we can change the channel but however 8 on channel 132 and also you can see the frequency here Okay, let's continue. Then we go get WLAN info. So now we have the, uh, this one, wireless two. And we are supposed to change something. First set SSID. Look, set SSID WLAN name. Set uh, SS, oops, sorry, set SSID uh w lan one to a m i n two point four two point four wait it's it's okay maybe we can see that here yep we have it the wireless it will be gone don't worry about that and if we refresh this page and come here we'll see the SSID is changed now we change the SSID and the last part is uh, set password so we say set encryption set encryption what is the WLAN name it's WLAN number one hit on the enter and it is going to start to ask some questions okay you're gonna set encryption on WLAN number one. So which type? Open web WPA. I would say WPA. Uh, we'll choose the number behind that, number three. And then it is asking me, okay, which protocol? WPA one, WPA two, auto or WPA three? I would say number two. Just I'm showing you how to do that. It's based on you. Open PSK whatever. I would say PSK. So choose number one and which one AESCCMP number two and what is your passphrase I'm just choosing one two three four five six seven eight nine zero WPA no errors so it's done how to see that get encryption for which one WLAN number one as we can see it is telling me all of the informations that are related to that but the point is that we cannot see the passphrase let's see if I want to connect to this one just one two three four five six seven eight nine zero this is the password and let's see if it is working yeah now connected to the other one so in this way we're connected to that one and uh, we set up everything we set up ip address on that we've changed the ip address on that we've changed it 
text or, or, or description of each tab we change the ssid and we actually if we again refresh this page and come here and come here we'll see now we have encryption encryption is enabled and now we have SSB, SSID and uh, everything and this IP address is based on DHCP so we have everything now we can use our ROCOS how by just setting some uh, easy commands just set whatever you want and with get you can see that and imagine you do not want this channel how you can just turn it off like the way you set it up so set uh, WLAN not, uh, I'm sorry set a state so set a state and it's asking which WLAN I would say WLAN number one and then down so now it is down and see I got disconnected from the network that I used to connect and by default it changed to the other one to the 5 gigahertz and say yeah, it's okay if we refresh this page if we refresh this page come here we'll see now it's done and it's not broadcasting anymore very good we've done everything which is mandatory uh, to have that Rakas AP live in our house or office I mean wherever uh, wherever we need it it's up it the IP address is changed and now it has a username and password I mean encryption and it is broadcasting and uh, so everything is good right now the last thing before ending this video that I'm gonna show you by default when you reset it the broadcasting power is on maximum but how you can change it if you come here and just say get uh, TX power it is asking which one again WLAN 0 for 2.4 and 8 for 5 gigahertz they're set on the maximum how you can change it uh, you can just set TX power WLAN for example 0 as you can see there is no place to set a number just based on uh, ratios like maximum half quarter eighth or minimum so you need to reach out the AP datasheet and the net and based on that you can choose for example maximum and now you know that this is the way that you uh, change that it was a whatever that I wanted to tell you about yes yeah, setting I mean each step installing resetting and setting up everything I hope it was good and uh, thanks for watching the video have a good one bye